hello friend and welcome to another day of my 100 day to prosperity journey my name is Tamisha I'm so glad to have you here today today we're going to talk about mindset specifically the wealth mindset and your mindset in the secrets of the millionaire mind commentary so if you have not gotten your book folks go out and get your book okay it's an awesome book it will help reshape and change your mind so that you are going to be a wealth making machine go out and get it study it read it every month until you get it deep down inside of you so that you can get what you need and live the life of your dreams okay live your best life all right so in the previous episode of the secrets of the millionaire mind we talked about your money blueprint and how you get your money blueprint. And remember, there was three ways that you could get it. First is by verbal programming, what you say or what other people have said to you about money, okay? The second way was modeling. How did you see other people around you handle their money? Were they spenders? Were they savers? As soon as they got it, it was gone. You know, how did that, how did that modeling help or hinder your thought process as far as money goes. And this last one was a specific incident. If there was something that specifically happened to you dealing with money, like um, uh, you're, you saw your parents argue all of the time about money, or you know, like an extreme case in the book where um, uh, a young, young lady's father died in front of her after her parents had an argument about money. I mean, it was, you know, devastating to say the least. So all of those things create files in our mind. And our thoughts, you know, some of them are true and some of them are not. And so we have to decide to keep what will empower and um, challenge us to be better and throw away what we don't need and will make us negative and critical and hinder our progress and growth. So that is where we left off. And so today I am going to talk to you about how we can change our blueprint because as long as you're living and breathing, you can change. Okay. So how can we do that? Well, the first step is awareness. It's like, you know, the, the um, video, the old videos of the um, Alcoholics Anonymous group, where they stand up in front of the group and say, hello, my name is such and such, and I'm an alcoholic. So now you are aware that you have some issues with your thinking in the area of money. So you need to get up and you need to say, hello, my name is Tamisha, and my mind is messed up in, in the money arena or I am a poverty, I have a poverty mindset, or, you know, I screw up my money, okay, and it's because of my mind, whatever you want to say, but don't say Tamisha, because that's my name, choose your name, okay, so that is awareness, now that you know that you have a problem, you have made aware of it, Think about all of the incidences that you've heard about money. What are the things that you've said about money that may not be necessarily true? You know, money grows on trees, you know, um, only greedy, only rich people are greedy, or all rich people are greedy. Um, you know, no, nothing, the root of all evil, <laughs> money is the root of all evil, which I've heard several times. I said, no, the 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 root of money is all the roots of all evil is money or money is evil or whatever they said but that's not true okay the love of money is the root of all evil so um what have you heard people say and what have you started to believe because now you're saying it because remember i talked about before your words are power and what you put out into the atmosphere is what you will get back so if you start thinking a certain way that is what you will say and what you say is what you will get okay so that so what have you been thinking about as far as money is related what have you seen modeled about money and what you is what you've seen modeled 
what you're now modeling. Are you doing the same thing your parents are doing when it comes to money? As soon as you get it, it's gone, okay? Um, or you're saving all of it for a rainy day, um, which is, you know, not good word choice. Remember, we talked about that earlier. You save all of it, or not even all of it, save some of it for a pleasant day, a celebration day, some, you know, vacation, you know, go get your nails done, spa day, you know, that's what you save your money for, something positive. Don't always think about negative or negative will always happen to you, okay? So what, are the, what is the awareness that you have around the modeling that you've done? What is the awareness around the specific incidents? Did something happen to you related to money? Did something happen to you in your past? Did something happen to you in your present or in your adult life where you have just totally wrote, wrote off the fact that you can even make money and keep money and become debt free? What is it? Write it down. That is your awareness, okay? The second step, and let me look at my notes here, okay, is understanding. So once you have gotten your awareness, you now need to write down how has that affected your life, okay? Do you have money right now? I mean, I'm sure if you're watching me, you don't have no money. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the wealthy, the wealthy don't need to watch, you know, somebody pump them up about getting money, okay? So are you making money, the money that you want to make right now? Are you out of debt? Are you living your best life? How are those, how have those thought process, processes, modeling or um, actions that you have taken or specific incidences that have stunted your growth in money management, how has that affected your life? Get an understanding you know, have a meeting with yourself, write it all down, write it all out, see it in black and white so that you can get an understanding of, wow, wow, this actually affected that. I remember, you know, when I was younger, my mother had tons of businesses and I loved that about her, the whole entrepreneur spirit, but the businesses never went anywhere and I saw myself falling in that same pattern. So I have determined in my mind to change. And so, but my change didn't start on the outside. It didn't start on choosing the right businesses. And I'm, believe me, she, she had a lot of Tupperware. She sold um, baseball cards. I mean, she did it all, y'all. I mean, for the amount of businesses that she did, that woman should be rich, I swear. But it didn't happen. Why? It was a mindset thing. You know, there was something in our mindset, and I'm talking about me too, that hindered us from growing. And I modeled the same pattern she did. And I said, now, you know, the buck stops here. I'm either in it or I'm not. I'm all in or it's over with. And so that is what I'm doing now. I'm all in or it's over with. And I hope that you are gaining some perspective on where you are and that you're deciding that you're either going to be all in or you're not going to do it. Okay. All right. So the next one is disassociation. So once you have gained understanding, once you have gained awareness, you know where you are, you understand that you have jacked up your life because of your mindset. You see where you jacked up your life because of your mindset. Now you need to disassociate. Okay. Now you need to say, I have a choice. I can decide to continue down this path and continue to do the same destructive pattern, or I can realize or realize it for what it is. It's something that I learned, I picked up, and I don't have to do it anymore. And I make a choice not to do it anymore. Now, I'm not going to say that's going to be easy because habits, you know, are hard to break. And unless you have good habits that you're in replacing with the bad, you're always going to be focused on your bad habits. So, you know, replace those good habits. If you, you know, are a hoarder of money, you know, say, you know, I'm going to set aside $100 every month to play with you know, to just blow, just blow that hundred dollars every month and, you know, see how it makes you feel. You might get a little, you know, joy on the inside of your heart. You know, you're just working, 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 and you're not spending any money. You're just, 
stressed out and you got all this money, but you ain't using it. You know, that ain't healthy. Okay. Or the opposite, you know, you're spending all of your money and, and just on frivolous stuff, on pairs of tennis shoes and purses and, you know, and high heels, or, you know, or dresses or, you know, suits or whatever it is your, that's your thing. You know, say, you know, I'm going to take what I would spend on Starbucks coffee and I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to make my coffee at the house and I'm going to set that aside and that's going to be my you know, whatever jar, my, you know, vacation jar, you know, I want to go on a vacation. Um, that's going to be, you know, I might get my hair done jar. Okay. That's going to be my, um, whatever it is you want to have for the future. You know, my get out of debt jar. Yes. That's hallelujah. That's, that's my jar. Okay. I want to get out of debt so bad. So, that that is what you need to work towards it, because you don't have to live the way that you're living you don't have to live paycheck to paycheck you can make the choice to do something different you don't have to live like your parents or your grandparents or your great grandparents or auntie and them down the street okay you don't have to live like that you choose to live that way and you can make a choice not to live that way so the choice and the option is up to you, okay? And the last one, of course, is your declaration. You have to say, say it with your heart, okay? So the first declaration that has to do with verbal is I release my non-supportive money experiences from the past and create a new and rich future, okay? So I'm gonna say it again. I release my non-supportive money experiences from the past and create a new and rich future. One more time, I release my non-supportive money experiences from the past and create a new and rich future. I have a millionaire mind, okay? All right, the next one, well, that was the last one, all right? So <laughs> let me go back. So the, the one for modeling, that was the one for specific incidences, okay? So the one for modeling, the declaration is, what I modeled around money was their way. I choose my way. One more time. What I modeled around money was their way. I choose my way. That's so powerful. One more time. What I modeled around, what I modeled around money was their way. I choose my way. I have a millionaire mind, okay? And the last one, which has to do with verbal, is what I heard about money isn't necessarily true, okay? I choose to adopt new ways of thinking that support my happiness and success, okay? Another one time, another time, two times, all right? What I heard about money isn't necessarily true, I choose to adopt new ways of thinking that support my happiness and success. Three times a charm, y'all. What I heard about money isn't necessarily true. True. I choose to adopt new ways of thinking that support my happiness and su success. And last but not least, I have a millionaire mind. Okay. I hope you got great value, clarity in this content that I delivered to you today. Again, get the book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. Great book, Over a Million Sold. It's awesome. I saw some of his uh, video, his training on this. Awesome, awesome speaker. So um, make sure that you get it out. If you don't want to buy the book, which you know I urge you to buy the book, it's a great investment in yourself. But if you don't, they have free audio books on YouTube. Just listen to it, okay? And um, get, get your perspective right. Get your clarity right. Remember, the choice is up to you. You can choose to make your life a great one. You don't have to live the way that you're living, okay? So I hope you had... I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and like my video. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I'm giving daily fresh videos every day. I want you to be in the know. I'm inspiring you to live your best life. You know, not only that, I'm giving you tools as new affiliate marketers to help you or marketers that just haven't made it yet to um, 
help you do well in your business so that you can own the life of your dreams, pretty much, okay? Um, also, if you had an aha moment or if you saw what it was that you are doing and how you are jacking up your life in the finances department. I want you to leave me a comment down below. Talk to me about it. We'll have a discussion about it, all right? I want to know. I want to help. If there's any way that I can help get you on the right path to financial freedom and living your best life, all right? And if you want to know how I'm going to fire my boss in 2019, then I also left a link in the description box. Click it. If it's for you, take action. It's a great way to learn the business while you earn money. And um, we all need personal development. We all need to learn the business, especially if you're new starting out. This is a great way to get your feet wet, get your feet in the door, um, meet some great people, get a great community and um, support system to help you on your financial journey okay so until next time my friend make sure that you think big dream big take action so that you may own the life of your dreams bye now